What is real quality of life in our future cities? And how do we achieve that? I started the Studio Spitala eight years ago here in Berlin. And our topic is how the future of urban mobility will shape our cities differently. We want to think beyond the traditional ways how we build cities and we want to be inspired by new ways how we move through the cities. And the most fun part is when movement translates into geometry and into built environment. It's a very conceptual, experimental work that is not necessarily about building today, but it's about thinking about tomorrow. In 30 years from now, in 2050, 70% of humankind will live in cities. That means we need to build cities for another 3 billion people. That's a huge challenge. Today, there's roughly two categories of cities. One is a car city, it's very horizontal, sprawl and like uh, low density. The other is a vertical city, based on the elevator as an you know, urban mobility concept. Both will not be uh, able to sustain the challenges of the futures. And we have to look at different ways how we can densify cities vertically. On the way to work, we are always reminded of what we have to find alternatives to, basically. It's more like a battlefield rather than a place where people should meet and have fun. If I think about the future, I would like to see more happy, smiling faces. So we are looking for human-scale, three-dimensional neighborhood designs that bring people more together, that are more healthy, and that foster social interaction and that are actually more fun as well. It's clear that we need to densify vertically. And that's why we were so interested in working with an elevator company as well. Schindler, as an expert for vertical mobility, they are essential for development of those complex structures. Through the collaboration with Schindler, we were able to think about different future city scenarios and they were open to it. And so this open-minded mindset was really kind of why it worked so well together. All these ideas could lead to different urban environments that are more inspiring to navigate through. And the technology solutions have to support the human factor and they have to be designed around that.